account. The blind side device from Neuro Neuralink will enable even those who have both who have lost both eyes and their optic nerve to see. Provided the visual cortex is intact, it will even enable those who have been blind from birth to see for the first time. To set expectations correctly, the vision will be at first, at first be, be low resolution, like Atari graphics, but eventually it has the potential to be better than natural vision and enable you to see infrared, ultraviolet, or even radar wavelengths like Gaudi LaForge. Much appreciated. Now, right now, it is this is not just a vision. It is not just um, a vision for invention. It has been invented already. Right now, it is literally at the US FDA for approval. Barista. Um, this is this is a mind bug. When I came across it, I said, "Wow, this is a, a, a this is a kind of it's a device, but I call it glasses." But uh, layman's word, in layman's term, this is like a medicated glasses. Even though it's a device that can actually give sight to a completely blind person, including those who were blind from from birth. Um. Elon Musk, this man is just known for a whole lot of invention. This man is a, he's not just a genius. I consider him to be a wizard, a white wizard. Um, he's a wizard of, in fact, he's just creating so many things now. Remember, this is the man that whose satellite now, even the, uh, the major superpowers are using his satellite. That without him, even without him in the Ukraine, in fact, he's, it is his satellite now that they are using. Without his satellite in Ukraine, honestly, um, uh, Ukraine could have been down completely, as we speak. So he's it is his satellite that is literally helping Ukraine to actually survive uh, to survive uh, Russian or uh, onslaught. So this man has invented so many things, and he's still is still doubling down on more inventions. Do you know what this thing will do when, the, when it finally comes? This is not a vision, Barista. It is something that is already materialized. Because right now, it's the, pro, it's the, the process of approval is on. <coughs> so if, if, they, are, if they, ha, they are submitted for approval, it all obviously means that they have tested, they done all the testing, and that thing, this thing actually works. Now, the side effects, of course, is something we everyone can talk about. But what, what do do you do, do you think a blind person, somebody who has gone completely blind or who was blind from birth, will will care about any side effect that such will give will will will, will met on him or her, uh, as long as it works, barista? What is your take on this new invention from um, Elon Musk? <laughs> The global, the I I call I consider him the world greatest greatest um, greatest um, wizard, white wizard because he's but doing if, he's um, doing humanity well humanity well. If if this uh, device eventually gets approval from the FDA, it will represent one of the greatest um, scientific inventions of modern times, and. Don't forget, the FDA cannot give approval without measuring the uh, side effects. Side effect, yes. Together with the benefits. They have to yeah. weigh both the benefits as well as the side effects. And in any case, for somebody who is born blind or who is blind, it is a question of choice. So, yeah. Even if the, the side effects are devastating. Correct. If you have care. the choice, you will be given the choice, just like a, a terminally ill cancer patient. Yeah. If a new drug comes up that has a serious side effect, already you are on your deathbed. Yeah. They will tell you this drug is new, it has this side effect, but you you will say, go ahead. Yeah. Already I am I'm on my deathbed. Whether you give it or not, I will still die. So try it. If it works, I have uh, got advantage. If it doesn't, I have not lost anything. So if it, the same thing with a blind, if I were to be blind, I will do the same thing. I'll say, 
use it for me. I have I will not lose anything if uh, I can abide the side effects. But uh, over and above that, uh, scientific inventions now shows this kind of thing shows that the world we live in is far more complex. We have not explored even 10% of the world mm. that we know is out there. Yeah. And things that I remember, uh, I don't know whether it's a debate in the British Parliament when the uh, aeroplane was being made. And uh, some uh, MPs derisively stood up in Parliament and said, this thing can never fly. That is a mm -hmm. waste, a bloody waste of money. They said that they, <laughs> something like that could never could never fly. So, but within a period of five years, the airplane was uh, flying. So today we can see that we have not even gone towards 10% of our human capacity. Look at what is happening in uh, Lebanon. Look at the way- Honestly, wow. Is. Wow. I mean, oh, the world has to still. Yes, honestly. For, how Israel was able to honestly what achieve this thing. So today, everybody is looking at his telephone, his pager, or whatever <laughs> device, electronic device, even your system, your laptop. Everybody is looking oh, at it. Can I be killed through this? My laptop exploding in my face, my phone, and the capability is there. You can now see in the next 10 years, all the nation scientists and intelligence services of the world. We focus on manipulating the electronic devices. Yeah. And it, it could even, instead of mass targeting, it could target individuals. They will Individual. come to a point yes. where it could target in individuals. So that you know, own... you know, yeah, talking about talking about this uh, what Israel did, this technology. <laughs> you know, I don't know, probably that is why they did that. You can't, oh my god, Israel, you you can't beat them. I don't know why the world cannot see. The world cannot see Israel as a peculiar, unique people that you just can't beat. Do you know what happened? You know, yesterday they, they killed the the the, the 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 biggest commander of uh, Hezbollah. I don't know if you read that news. Of course, of course. Now, do you know what happened? How they killed him? Not just holding him, they killed him with some other, I think about 14 other commanders. In the, they were all in the same room. Usually they were not usual. They, are, they don't, because of Israel attack, because Israel, when it comes to assassinating their enemies, targeting their enemies, no matter, they are, they are better than the U.S. They are better than, if they want to get you, they will get you in, inside a hole. They will get you in a very discreet manner. Very, very discreet manner. In a very covert way that you people will never, and, ever suspect. So and they don't forget. They, of course, they don't forget. So you it know what they did? 20 years to, Correct. to kill you. That is, of course, but they will eventually get you. That is exactly what, now you know what happened yesterday? How they got these people inside, on, in the same room. You know, pre, about three days ago, they targeted their phones, their devices, their mobile devices. Um, and uh, what happened? That it became fear. After they killed about 30 something of them, is it 30 something or so? And others got injured. 37, yeah. And others got injured. What 4, else? 4,000 people are got, injured, of got, which 400 are serious, in serious condition. Condition. Oh, wow. 400 in serious. Okay, I didn't read that, read that 400 in serious condition. Okay, I know some of them were in bad condition. Now, you know what they did? They succeeded in now putting fear in the leadership of, of, of Hezbollah that they were not confident. They, because, of course, it's just a matter of days. So they do all of it. They discarded their phones. They stopped using their phones. So, because if they use phone now to, to communicate. So, because they could not communicate by phone, they had to meet in person under the same roof. So, and that was how Israel targeted that meeting. Through, in, to, through uh, intelligence, they found out where the, the meeting location and targeted that meeting and killed the overall commander of Hezbollah. You, I don't know. You see, you, I don't know. These guys are Israelis. Are just I don't know why people cannot see God behind them. You see, before this incident, Hezbollah have stopped using phones because they said Israel will monitor their communications by by phones. So they went back to old pagers, the ones okay, that okay, yeah, yeah. long ago that yeah. are so manual, so manual that you cannot track, you cannot track them. 
Then what did the Israelis do? After Hezbollah made an order of these products, Israel created a phantom company that allegedly produced these uh, same orders and shipped them to, to, to Lebanon, to Hezbollah. Hezbollah took them 5,000 and distributed to their members. And when they wanted, according to stories, they wanted to wait until the war with Hezbollah starts. And then they would, but Hezbollah started suspecting, senior commander started suspecting the device. So they had to, to really to, to explode them. When they wanted to explode them, they sent bulk messages beeping like you get a phone, your phone beeps like a message yeah. has entered. So it will draw you near, it will draw you, you bring the device nearer to your face to read the message. Oh, then yeah. it will explode. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> My God. And those beeping message came simultaneously to thousands of wow. thinking that it, the messages were coming from senior leadership. Leaders, Everybody yeah. will, like you get a message on your phone, so you bring it to read yeah, the message. To read, yeah. And the thing will go, the thing will go off. So that's wow. how 4,000 4, people were injured. 37 dead, 400 seriously uh, injured, which from that more will die. Wow. It is it is a marvel. It wow. took the intelligence communities of the whole world by surprise. You Everybody know, now I, and, and this, it, this, I read that Russia is Russia is thinking uh how they have to re-examine their their system to avoid something. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody will now have to examine the security of even their telephone, oh their laptop. Yeah, communication gadgets. Okay, okay. Because honestly, is out of is out of the world. Yeah, honestly, Israelis are just they are highly gifted. Honestly, they are just. I don't know why when why people would not just accept the fact that you just can't beat these guys. The the more you try to beat them, the more they grow. For God's sake, I, I don't know. But these guys are just too much. Just too much. Honestly. And you know they invented this this uh, laser laser whatever you laser beam or what what you call it in war. I don't know if you have read about yeah, that. They started using it. They yeah. started using in, it. In, in, in I'm telling you, of, uh, that is I, that is so accurate. I, extremely that laser will, is, is going to change so many things in warfare. Honestly, so so it's so, so interesting. Honestly, all right. Um, actually, good good invention. There we have good and bad. Unfortunately. The Elon Musk, Elon Musk, his own is he has always been inventing things that are very, very good for humanity, very beneficial for humanity. That's one thing about him. I, I have come to love that guy. He's now the rich, he's been for I think almost uh, almost two years now. He's been consistently the world richest man. Um, right now. Of course. He, uh, they said from latest this thing, they say he's he's going to be the first tri trillionaire. Wow. Yeah, because what I read now. Yeah, he, because they, they, is a, this is the only thing so far is a trillionaire. Everybody is a billionaire. He has translated into a trillionaire now. Yeah, because he was the first one. I remember when he became when he became rich. Now he's but he dropped to about 250 something. And the first time he became the world richest man, he just jacked up to 350 billion watts off or whatever. So I was that man is just honestly, I consider him the the only billionaire that is really, really, really working hard for his wealth has worked hard and is still working hard for his wealth because he is the one that is because he is the brain behind everything. He is the inventor in chief. He only have people so people he uses to actually bring this invention to reality. And so, but he is the one. And that man's head is just full of. It's just full of, I don't know what to call it, it's just full, it's, it's, it's an unquantifiable uh, uh, mysteries that are, he, that is, he is just unraveling one after the other, a sort of. So the man deserves to be the world richest man because, and why I, why I am in love with him um, is because he's basically his own area of focus. The, the invent, what he's inventing has to do with humanity. The benefit of to benefit the to benefit human race, the, everything has been positive on human life. That is just it, a sort of. So that is one thing good about him. 
um, which is a bit different from what Israel is doing. Israel, I, I, what they are doing is what actually Israel. They are they are in, uh, great. I think the greatest inventors of so many things, a sort of, and that is why one of the reasons why people the U.S. can never do without the Israel. They will remain. They 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 always consider. They always say that the U.S. and Israel are the oh U.S. Uh, Israel is the greatest ally of the U.S. Um, in the Middle East. I, honestly, I don't even know why they just they, they, they limit it to Middle East. Me, in my own opinion, you, Israel is the greatest ally of the U.S. in the world. Not just Middle East, because that, I am telling you... Nobody can argue against I, that. I, 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 am, I am telling you because the benefit the U.S. is getting from... The benefit they are getting, several benefits they are getting from the U.S., from, the, from Israel. Britain can never give one quarter, not even an inch, compare in comparison to that to the you uh, you know can never do that compared to Israel. That is just the reality. I don't know why people just say they are the greatest uh, U.S. ally in the Middle East. They are not the greatest, not just Middle East. It's in the world. U.S. can never do without the Israel, the, the uh, without uh, the Israelis. So, but my problem, Israel actually, I understand why they are doing their own invention. Actually, okay, their they, they, their own invention is actually mixed. They invent on uh, things that benefit humanity and uh, uh, positively, and uh, they unfortunately, unfortunately, they invent things that are detrimental to humanity. But this in this area, they are inventions. I consider them inventions of evil of the necess necessary evil, the evil of necessity. That is what I the way I consider that all the inventions of weapon. Uh, weapon, there are in inventions that has to do with weapons of mass destruction, either destruction, um, minimal or mass destruction, and uh, uh, or uh, uh, sorry, either the, the weapon of minimal destruction or minimal of um, weapon of mass destruction. Those ones are actually geared towards protecting, defending themselves. So that is understandable, but at the same time, it's still a negative, uh, negative stuff. Uh, for anything that destroys humanity is not in good, but I can understand that uh, they need it. It's a necessary evil that they need, um, especially when they are just like an ant uh, in the midst of a, um, a conglomerate of enemies in a region. So they need that. They need all the defense that uh, they can get, actually. So anyway, that is just it. Um, Barista, thank you so very much. I, if there's, I accept you have something to, if there's nothing else, I think uh, this will, we are, come, we are closing this show, um, this episode of the show for, for today. Um, thank you so very much, Barista. It's been a long day. This is, uh, I, I think this is a lo our longest uh, stretch in this, uh, in this program, on this program. Um, the longest episode, actually. Thank you for your time. Thank you for all the insights. Thank you. And uh, above all, uh, in fact, uh, the most important of all is that none of this topic, I didn't share any of this topic. It, this is just spontaneous. So it's so, so, uh, so um, interesting and insightful to still uh, actually um, hear you actually um, analyze and comment on every all the topics we have discussed today in very, very, very intelligent and eloquent manner. And uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And uh, and uh, God bless you for that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, viewers. Uh, that is it. This brings us to the end of this show. Um, God bless you. My name is Jibrin. And uh, this is uh, Jibrin Angu coming to you on Oweleke TV. See you again next time. God bless you.